Hey, what's up guys? So uh, we're out today doing a little bit of sourcing. Uh, I've stopped at one of the local thrift stores here in Tuscaloosa. I'm gonna go in and see what we can find. Just take a few minutes, gotta kinda move quick today. Don't have a lot of time, but gonna make two or three stops. Just do a quick look over and hopefully we'll find something good. Well, it looks like pumps. So this is a really cool find, but I wound up putting it back. It was a bar light for like recording or photography. I'm pretty sure that this was from the 1950s or 60s. I had a hard time finding good information on this particular item, and it didn't really look like the sell through justified the purchase. Looks like someone just left these bags laying here. Uh, this uh, particular bag, I've, I've purchased one before uh, the messenger and sold it and did, did pretty well. Uh, this is a coach bag that someone had picked up. And again, it's just in this stack of random purses and bags here. Uh, this one's very nice. There's not much, I can't really see anything wrong with it. A couple of marks that I'm pretty sure I can get off. The inside's clean, should have good comps. Kept looking through these. There's a few others that are interesting that I'm not familiar with, but there was one other that I'm going to pick up. I think it's on the bottom. Right here. Just let me pull it out. This is a small bag made by the sack. I've had pretty good luck out of these if I can get them cheap enough. Um, selling their wallets and small purses. They have some interest in, they're always really high quality leather, some interesting designs. Some of these I just wasn't sure about, but those two uh, purses as well as the messenger bag uh, was were good pickups. I think the most expensive one was the coach at $9.99. You'll also notice that at this point I'd picked up a cast iron pan. Uh, I wound up putting that back as well. It, I know it was good, I'm uh, scanning the books here too. I always check the books uh, to see if there's any commentaries, especially, or just something interesting. Uh, but the pan, again, I put that back because I really couldn't find any definitive markings on it Sorry. that would lead me to believe that I should keep it. So, anyway, eventually you'll see that kind of disappear from the buggy. The older gentleman on the right here had a device and he was scanning literally every book on the shelf, so I just decided to not spend any time there and pass. Went on down to the children's books and I am, I am gonna pick up one item here. Uh, this is a Marvel, um, kinda like a children's comic. I had a side against it. It was really cool, but I just didn't feel like it had enough value for the price. Gonna work my way over here to the uh, VHS and DVDs. And again, probably another reseller had taken some items out of their buggy and just left them laying here. This is a Joker. Uh, there's also a Batman, another figure that I'm not as familiar with. You see My Little Pony there on the shelf. Kind of interesting. Uh, I tried to look these up briefly, but I just wasn't real interested. I didn't know everything I needed to know about them in order to find good information. So I decided to pass. If I messed up, let me know in the comments. I kept looking here and didn't even look those up. Just not that interested in My Little Pony. Maybe I should have looked them up, who knows. Uh, checked out a couple of VHS, looking, always check for sealed items just in case there's something that's rare or something that could be graded. And then down here on the DVD shelf, I see a set of Blu-rays that are Harry Potter. I almost picked these up, but it wasn't quite a complete set. I think I was missing one of the movies or maybe two of the movies. Not really worth it if it's not a complete set. Now I went on to the blankets and linens and this next item that I found was pretty awesome. This is a hand stitched quilt top. It is big enough to fit a king size bed. I think it was like $10. Uh, this is fabrics probably from the 50s, 60s, maybe early 70s. Uh, really cool. This is a, a spray lab 
uh, our spray ground, sorry, spray ground backpack. I've purchased one of these before, but these are usually limited edition, very small runs. This one, as you can see, is a Chicago Bulls. Um, there are no sold exact sold comps for this, but I did see one listed for like 150 bucks. So I'm pretty excited about this. I think I can make a good profit on it. It was gonna require some minimal cleaning. Uh, but overall, it was in very good shape. finished looking at the blankets and I thought about this afghan just for a minute. Uh, this is vintage, it's dream sickles. It possibly could have sold for maybe 20 or 25 dollars but I just didn't see a lot in the way of sold comps that really looked like this one though it is a winter pattern so it might have been a good pickup considering the season but again I decided to pass on this. I'm trying to really stick to items that I feel like are more sure things. So I also went through some of the clothing. I found this pair of really crispy orange tab, uh, 1980s. Uh, I think these are 517s if I remember right. Uh, made in USA, Levi's. These were priced up at close to 20 bucks, but I think I might be able to get like $75 or more for these. You can actually see on the leg of these pants where the stickers had been. I don't think, so you can see it right there. I, I don't think these had ever actually been worn. I think these are new without tags. The factory creases are still just very evident in the legs. Like I said, these are very crispy. I think I can do good on these. Uh, took a look at the shoes. Not much to be seen here. There were a couple that I took a brief look at, uh, but there wasn't much put out on the shelf that I really felt interested in or thought was worth uh, the spending the money on. There was, uh, like I said, a couple of items that I briefly took a look at. This is some Crocs. Uh, Crocs, of course, are good pretty much all the time, any season, but these are really beat up, uh, bad shape. It was the leather uh, style, uh, at least the leather upper style. And then there was also a pair of bowling shoes that I took a look at. I've never purchased bowling shoes. Let me know if I need to pay more attention to these. I wasn't enthused about even looking them up, but maybe in the future I'll give that a shot if I see another pair maybe look them up and see what the value is. So I did take time to walk through the clothes briefly, although this was a very short trip, so I didn't have time to really comb through the racks. I uh, didn't pick up a lot maybe other than those blue jeans. I did at one point pick up a jacket. Uh, you see me kind of just checking for some pearl snaps or anything like that, something that's vintage. I kind of was very picky about what I even looked at here. Uh, just looking for something that stands out. And like I said, not a whole lot. I picked up one jacket, did a comp on it. It was fair, but not enough to really pull the trigger. So I decided to walk back over to the hard goods and take one more quick look. I checked out the items in the bags on the wall. Always check this stuff out. You never know what you're going to find bagged up for $1.99, 99 cents, $3, whatever. Uh, toys, uh, home items, uh, just all kinds of different, you know, smalls, variety of smalls. Sometimes you can find some killer deals here. I've found some really awesome vintage toys. I've found discontinued colognes and other things like that. So, all right, guys. So uh, pretty successful little stop. I think the Ice Crusher uh, is going to probably be my best pickup here, the Bucketeer. I uh, got it for 7 I think I can sell it for about 50 maybe 60 If I remember right from the comps, I'll show you on the screen. I got three bags, one coach that I paid 10 I think I can get... 40 maybe, maybe a little more. It's patent leather in great shape. I got one leather uh, from the sack, uh, and I believe I gave 10 for it. I believe I can probably get 30 to 40 for it. And then a uh, an American Eagle uh, messenger bag for 399 that I think I can get about 25 for. And then of course the quilt top and the backpack that I gotta do a little more work on, but I think both of those will be really good purchases. Yeah, so here for the second stop of the day, uh, this is a local thrift. This is not a chain. Uh, I really enjoy this one. They used to have a lot of good deals. So let's go in and see what we can find. Hey, how are you? Hello. As you can see, I love how neat and organized and clean this little thrift store is. 
it's not huge but they always have a constant uh, restocking of inventory new stuff every day that I go in there they're working all the time Excuse, Excuse me. me. Yes, ma'am. This nine line sweatshirt should be a really good pickup. I think I can get about twenty to twenty five dollars for this. So I went through the clothes. I decided to fast forward this just uh, very quickly trying to find a few other items. Uh, they were buy one, get one this, this particular day, but I was there on a Friday and that sale had been going on all week and the racks were very depleted, at least as far as name brands. So now looking at electronics, small handhelds, a lot of cameras have been turned in. I did pick up this little Sony Dream Machine. I've already sold that, I think for about I think it was $15 maybe or $12. Not a lot, but I think it goes three for it. Looks at a couple of other items here. This is pretty interesting. But the comps were not good. I had never seen one of these actually. But again, for listening to the radio. Had a few other things. This is a cigarette rolling machine. I thought this is really cool, even though, you know, I don't smoke or use tobacco at all. But uh, nevertheless, you know, these vintage items sometimes have good value. This, however, couldn't really find comps that made sense for me uh, based on the price that they had it listed at. I think it was like 10 or 12 bucks. They did have some VHS players, some DVD players. Those were still marked up. Some receivers, uh, disc changers. Prices still were a little bit high for resale on these considering the size. I don't like to sink too much money in items that are very large that are going to be sitting for a while. And then, like I said, they'd had some cameras turned in, uh, some vintage cameras. I uh, looked at these. Uh, they had some more uh, that were turned in when I went more recently, and just but just the prices weren't right. Uh, they weren't super high, but the, the sell-through was low. Uh, it wasn't the right brands to really be collectible, so I had to pass on them. There were some Polaroids, uh, but again, the price on them was too high to buy them for resale. Had they been a buck, I might have got them. But you can see some of this cool stuff, uh, some replacement lights. Those are red, some old uh, life preservers, and then we got the Stanley there that I had taken a look at, the thermos, but it was a made in China. It was a newer one. Uh, they got some really nice helmets here. These are helmets for like catchers and batters uh, for softball, baseball. Uh, they are brand new, but again, the price is still a little bit high on those. But I always like to check out the sporting goods. Uh, I oftentimes will find a lot of really good uh, baseball gloves and, and softball gloves, but they go fast. And when they get put out on the shelves here, if you're not there, so they're putting them out, they'll be gone within 30 minutes to an hour. So, I mean, it's just, you literally have to be waiting for them or just look up. And just kind of looking over what's here uh, not a whole lot in the store today uh, Friday I realized was probably not the best day to show up and and be you know trying to find really cool items at least not later in the day on Friday like I showed up um, they probably were doing the least amount of restocking on this day that I had seen when I anytime I had been there even though they were putting things out so here you see some more of those cameras that were in a couple of different places. I might have messed up. I didn't look every one of them up, but like I said, the brands, they just didn't seem like, and a lot of them had problems, didn't seem like something that, at least at this point, I was comfortable uh, putting, uh, you know, putting on my inventory shelf. And again, you know, I was 
really battling time. I didn't have a long time to stay in the store in this day. So I'm looking for that second item. I finally find just a basic Polo Oxford that I'm gonna grab. I'm getting these because they're buy one, get one. I got the sweatshirt and the button down for a total of $3, so $1.50 each. Can't really beat that price. Again, this was a very nice blender that I was doing a price check on, a comp, but kind of like some of the other items today while I was in there, this, the price wasn't super high. I mean, I think I could have made a little bit off of it, but the margins just weren't there. So this is a large item, you know, that you got to test, make sure everything's good with. Even though they say it's been tested, I have found that if you're not careful with thrift stores, you'll get something home and it still don't work. But again, there wasn't enough profit left in that item, so I passed on it. I've got lots of larger inventory that I currently need to process, so I don't need to add low profit items to that stack. I need to work on what I've already got. So I made my way over to the shoes. I always like to take a look at their shoes here. They've been running a lot of sales lately. I think they were 50% off this day that I went in. Uh, the last couple of times I have been, I didn't carry the camera and they were actually 75% off. Uh, I looked at these Salomons, they're in very good shape, but the strings were missing. And they have those, you know, those pull strings with the little slider that keeps them tight on your feet. I didn't even have a clue how you would go about replacing that. So it just wasn't worth messing with for me. So I looked around. Tried to see what else I could find. Sometimes the brands I'm just not familiar enough. And again, I didn't have a lot of time to run comps while I was in the store. So I wanted to be careful about not taking too many chances. I was just looking for anything that I knew would be great. These Air Force Ones were, eh, the price wasn't terrible, but the condition and the cleaning would have been more than I wanted to deal with. Thought I'd take a quick look at the jeans. Sometimes there is a really high-end pair of jeans kind of mixed in, and they're $3, so if you can find a pair, it's always a killer deal. At this point, I know I'm kind of getting closer to being done. However, on my way out, uh, their purses were marked at $5 on, on this particular day, and I happened to see a Tumi bag. You might have seen it in the upper corner there. It's not in the camera well, but this was brand new. Uh, so this is like a $200 bag. However, they wanted $100 for it. $200 brand new. Resale on eBay. I'd probably be lucky to get $150 for it. Just way too much for me to go invest in $100 in. And so I took a little uh, quick look at what they had left hanging here. But again, because this sale had been going on all week at $5 a purse, uh, there was not really much there that I could see that wasn't just mass produced or off brand you know nothing that would be good for resale unless I overlooked it because I didn't dig I just kind of took a quick glance So this is the state of mind I often find myself in as I'm wrapping things up. Having not really found a killer item, I'm thinking to myself, surely there's something I missed and I meander for a few minutes, uh, probably just wasting time. I should have went ahead and 
uh, checked out, left the store, but it's hard when you're trying to find that one item that's going to really put you over the top for that particular stop. Sometimes hard for me anyway to just kind of let go and move on, especially knowing that probably somewhere in this store there are three, four, or five items that I could make a killer profit off of if I just had the knowledge uh, to pick them out and to know them when I see them. But you can't comp everything in one trip, so on limited time especially, after a quick look around at some of the areas I usually don't visit in the store, I decided it was time to just check out and head to the truck and um, get on my way home so I can get to work. All right, so not a total dud. Got two or three items that were decent, uh, but they had a big sale this week, 75% off of certain stickers. Uh, shoes were buy one, get one. Clothes had been uh, buy one, get one, and so they had really uh, sold down quite a bit. Um, so the shelves were kind of lean compared to normal. Uh, had to check back again next week once they have time to restock a little. Wish I'd have been here earlier in the week.